Hey everyone, Brandon here from TruckSafe. If you're a CDL driver or a motor carrier that employs them, then you're subject to DOT drug and alcohol testing rules. For decades, those rules have relied on urinalysis as the only approved test type, except in very limited circumstances, for drug screens. But that will be changing soon, according to a final rule published by the US DOT on May 2nd, 2023. That's what we're discussing in this video, so stay tuned, hit that like and subscribe button below if you find this type of content helpful. According to that May 2nd final rule, the US DOT and its sub-agencies, including the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, or FMCSA, have amended their respective drug and alcohol testing regulations to add oral fluid as an authorized testing method for the presence of unlawful drugs, essentially mouth swabs. This change is set to take effect on June 1st of 2023. However, according to the agency's notice, even once that rule change takes effect, employers still have to wait for the Department of Health and Human Services to certify at least two laboratories for oral fluid testing before they can start using them. HHS has yet to do that at the time we're recording this video, but we expect it'll happen in the near future, which will pave the way for the use of mouth swabs. A couple of additional points here. First up, according to that final rule, oral fluid testing will be an optional test type, which means that employers still have the option to conduct urine tests if they want. So, for example, some employers may choose to only use oral fluid testing for certain test types like pre-employment or post-accident and keep doing urine tests for the other types. Or they may choose to only use oral fluid testing in situations where drivers aren't able to provide a sufficient urine sample, which is sometimes called shy bladder. The point is that this new rule gives employers some flexibility in terms of how they administer required DOT drug screens. So why is the DOT even allowing this? Well, they say in their notice that this additional methodology for drug testing will give employers a choice that will help combat employee cheating on urine drug test and provide a less intrusive means of achieving the safety goals of the program. Because oral fluid testings by their very nature are always observed by the collector via the mouth swabs, as opposed to urine samples, which are very rarely observed, the hope is that there will be less of an opportunity for cheating. So this change comes amid a significant uptick in positive drug screens over the past few years. According to recent data from the FMCSA's Drug and Alcohol Clearinghouse, a total of 53,693 drug and alcohol violations were reported to the clearinghouse in 2020. In 2022, that number had risen to 69,636, a nearly 30% increase year over year. Unsurprisingly, marijuana is the most common culprit for positive drug screens, with over 107,000 reported cases to the clearinghouse since 2020. Now, perhaps most shocking of all, clearinghouse data indicates that there are currently 125,810 CDL drivers in so-called prohibited status, meaning they are disqualified from operating a commercial motor vehicle due to a drug or alcohol testing violation. This is clearly a major issue in the industry, one that could very well be exacerbated with the introduction of oral fluid testing, but we'll just have to wait and see how that plays out. All right, that's going to wrap things up for this video. For even more in-depth information about these types of regulatory topics, be sure to check out our innovative online compliance courses for safety managers and for drivers over at trucksafeacademy.com. Also, be sure to check out our detailed compliance articles on our website, trucksafe.com, and follow us on our various social media pages for the latest highway transportation news and analysis. Thanks for watching.